Hi guys, welcome back to Spelling and Word Study. My name is Mrs. Rhodes and I'm here today to get you started on Unit 9, TH and WH. Please take a second to gather your materials. You'll need your red book open to page 59. You'll also need some colorful crayons, markers, or pens. Remember, whatever I do on the board, you should be doing on your page. Please save room for a key as well. All right, so we started this year learning about short vowels. A, A, I, A, A. For the last few weeks, we've been reviewing those short vowels as we learn about something called a digraph. Remember, a digraph is two letters coming together to make a brand new sound. So for instance, CK makes a K sound. CH makes a CH sound. And SH makes a SH sound. This week, we're gonna learn about two more sounds. The digraph TH and the digraph WH. TH actually has two sounds. It can say th or th, depending on whether we turn our voice on or off. You know your voice is on if you put your fingers on your voice box right here. You can feel that little bump on your throat. And when your voice is on, you can feel it vibrating. When your voice is off, nothing happens. So let's practice. Let's make the TH sound with our voices on. Okay, can you feel that vibrating? And then let's make the TH sound with our voices off. Nothing's happening down here, right? Because our voice is turned off. So as I read the list of words to you, and you see the TH, I want you to decide if you're hearing uh, the TH on or off, okay? We're gonna talk about that a little bit more in a minute, but right now, please repeat after me. Bath, path, van, that, thick, thin, this, when, whip, and with. All right, good job. What I want you to do now is choose a color, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna put a box around the TH in each word, okay? Starting with bath, I want you to notice that the TH is at the end of the word. Same thing with path. In van, the TH is at the beginning of the word. Same thing with that, thick, thin, and this. We're going to skip these two words. And then on our last word, that TH shows up at the end of with. So that's important. I want you to notice that TH can show up anywhere in, the, anywhere in a word, at the beginning, at the end, and even in the middle when we talk about bigger words. So in our key, green box equals TH digraph. Okay, TH digraph. All right, choose a second color. And now we're gonna look for the WH digraph. Now, when you put W and H together, they don't say w -h, they say w. -h. So it's almost like that W is swallowing the H sound, right? So we see this in the word when and whip. Notice WH is only showing up at the beginning of a word. You will never ever see WH at the very end of a word, okay? WH is tricky only because there are so many words in our language that start with the W sound. Some of them start with WH, like 
when and where and what. And then some of them just start with a W, like with. So I don't have a rule for you. It's just something you have to memorize. The more you read, the more you will notice whether a word should have the WH or just the W. So just keep reading and that's gonna help you with your WH pattern. All right, purple box equals WH digraph. All right, now I wanna go back to TH because remember we were talking about how TH has two sounds. Sometimes our voice is on and it says V and sometimes our voice is off and it says so I'm gonna go through the words again. I want you to put your fingers gently on your neck and see if that helps you hear the difference between v and th. okay? So here we go. Ba, nothing's happening here. My voice is off. Let's try the next one. Pa, again. My voice is off. All right, what's this word? Is it van or fan? Would you say I'm older than you? No, we say van. Our voice is on. That. The voice on. voice off. Are you getting the hang of this? I hope so. Thin, thin voice off, right? We wouldn't say that somebody is very thin. We say they're thin. This, this voice on. I can feel my throat vibrating or my, my vocal cords vibrating. All right, one more. With voice off. Okay, let's go back to our key. So we have on and we have off. Anywhere we wrote the word on, that means our voice is turned on. Anywhere we wrote the word off, our voice was turned off. Okay, I hope this is making sense to you because when you get to page 61, you're gonna practice this some more. You have a whole list of words here. You're gonna read each word and if you can feel your voice uh, vibrating, then you're gonna write the word here where it says harder voiced TH. And if you don't feel anything happening when you make that sound, you're gonna write the word here, soft, unvoiced, TH, okay? So this is voice off, and this is voice on. Okay. Um, oh, I also wanna tell you about one more new type of activity you're gonna have this week. When you get to page 62, you're gonna start sorting words into categories. So for instance, if I gave you the words red, blue, and green, you would know the category is colors, right? And then you could look in the word bank and find another word that matches like white or yellow or purple. If I gave you the words shirt, pants, socks, you would know the category is clothing. You could look in the box and find something else like shoe or hat, okay? So this page is going to um, give you some practice sorting words into categories. All right, now, before I let you go, let's quickly make sure we understand our words. So bath, well, that's what you do in a tub, right? You sit in the bath tub and clean your body, wash your hair, you are taking a bath. A path 
is something you follow, maybe through the, wor the woods, right? So it's like a dirt path. Maybe you ride your bike on the path, you take a walk on the path, you walk your dog on the path. So it's a dirt um, or gravel um, sidewalk, basically. Van means, um, that's a word we use to compare things. Like I'm older than you. You are younger than me. So that's a comparing word. Um, I'm just gonna write van equals comparing word, okay? That is what we use when we're pointing. I like that, I want that. Please give me that. Thick means wide, right? Um, so you could, um, let's say you have some banana bread fresh out of the oven, you could cut a thick slice. So for thick, I'm just gonna draw something, you know, wide. The opposite of thick would be thin. So if you're not very hungry and you don't want a thick slice, maybe you would settle for a thin slice. So thin is like skinny. Um, this is the opposite of that. I want this. No, I want that, right? They're both used um, for pointing um, uh, different items, this and that. When is a question word, like when are we going to eat? Whip, that's something you can do with mixers. Um, if you are trying to make whipped cream or you're trying to whip up some eggs, it's just, you just kind of use a whisk and move things around quickly. You stir them up quickly. Um, so for whip, I'm just gonna write stir, okay? And then the word with, you know, it just means together. So I walked to the park with my family. All right, so you guys are all set to start your unit. Good luck, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.